हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मेरी त्रिवेदी फ्रॉम एल जी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट आवर न्यू चैप्टर नेम्ड एज मैकेनिकल वाइब्रेशन नाउ स्टूडेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस लेक्चर यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट द वाइब्रेशन इज इन जनरल इफ वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द वाइब्रेशन इट इज नन अदर देन द टू एंड फ्रो मोशन ऑफ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट इफ the to and fro motion is in a sequence and it is less than a sing it is taking some time period it is known as vibration now how uh, what is the vibration and how it will be considered now assume suppose this is a mass okay and the spring is attached with respect to this mass now what will happen if i move this mass towards downward side direction and release it then what will happen this mass will move upward as well as downward until and unless it will come back to its original position okay so this is known as the vibration of a particular mass clear so this is the basic understanding of mechanical vibration now if we have to study the vibration for very much uh, with very much understanding it is having different parts it is having different effects okay so the first of all the first effect of the vibration is free vibration right now let us assume there is a uh, there is a shaft and a mass and the mass will move towards up and down direction just like the spring if we attach any spring with respect to the mass and that spring will move towards up and down direction then what will happen the motion of the mass will give us the free vibration value and this motion is known as longitudinal and the vibration is known as longitudinal vibration now let us assume there is a shaft and mass is attached to the system and if this mass will move towards right hand side as well as left hand side position so this kind of vibration is known as lateral vibration and the motion obviously we can understand the it is known as lateral motion clear yeah? now let us have another example example is like there is a shaft and the mass rigidly fixed at the bottom okay and if we move this mass in a circular motion and release it then what will happen that mass in the top view will move towards clockwise and anti clockwise motion so this motion is known as torsional motion and the vibration is known as torsional vibration so here there are basically three types of free vibration first one is longitudinal second one is lateral and third is torsional vibration student basically free vibration it means in which you do not need to put regular forces at a at an equal interval of time initially you have to put any force because as we know according to newton's first law if a system is in a motion or in a rest until and unless any other external force is tend to apply on the system hence we have to apply external force initially if we want the standard vibrations okay so if initially initial force is applied or external force is applied on the system it means if the system is initially excited anyhow and it will move longitudinally laterally or torsionally known as longitudinal lateral or torsional vibration okay these are basically free vibrations remember one thing any vibration cannot occur without any external effort or external force okay so first of all we have to understand that if there is the external force applied on the system then and then the vibration can occur clear and with respect to that we can understand that there are the free vibration in which we do not need to put any other different types of forces in an equal interval of time okay so free vibration it means when the system is initially excited and released and the vibration known as free vibration okay second topic is of forced vibration now as you see in our diagram as the arrow represents 
with the representation of arrow we need to apply at an equal interval of time we need to apply the forces just like ic engine if you know at the point of power stroke generation the power is generated inside the system and when the power is generated inside the system the force is generated and force tend to act on the system if force tend to act on the system that system is known as forced vibration okay so in the forced vibration we have to put equal and equal interval of time we have to put the force on equal interval of time clear so this is the force vibration next topic is damped vibration okay we have to put the damping force on the system as you see in our diagram there is the resistance or i can say the friction itself okay so with respect to the friction the motion of the object will reduce continuously it means the friction will behave like a damping system damping it means dissipation of energy it will reduce the energy dissipated by the system it means it is the damped vibration okay in the damped vibration there are different categories damped free vibration and damped force vibration basically if we are considering force vibration only we are imagine we uh, we imagine this that the damped vibration is always present with respect to the forced vibration it means in the forced vibration system there is always the force damped vibration not a forced undamped vibration okay so it is the damped vibration as we see in our diagram now let us have linear vibration now student as you see in this diagram there is the uh, shutter and in which they scrutinize different kinds of uh, uh, metals or different uh, kinds of stones according to the according to their weight and the property okay now how this is possible because each and every material having different vibration having different weight so according to the weight criteria we can scrutinize their uh, their uh, their effects okay so this is known as linear vibration of the system and student you have to remember that linearly we are only assume each and every system linear as a linear but so many systems originally are non linear systems okay now let us have non linear vibrations so in our case there is a simple pulley mechanism okay there is a rope and pulley mechanism is there in the rope and pulley mechanism with respect to the rope it will come uh, back to the downward or backward in the upward direction with respect to that motion the pulley will tend to move with respect to the motor okay and pulley will move the shaft on which the ropes are wounded okay now in this case according to the different kind of lifting weights what will happen there is the jerk produced on the shaft and with respect to the jerk produced on the shaft the jerk are transferred to the pulley system and we cannot measure exactly how uh, how much the value of it hence they are known as non linear vibrations sometimes they we can calculate it sometimes we cannot calculate it it means they are non linear their behavior is non linear we cannot identify how and at what time this kind of vibrations or reactions can be transmitted okay so this is the basic linear and non linear vibrations now we have to understand that we are having different elements constituting vibrations and spring mass system now as you see in our diagram there is a simple suspension system so if we imagine our suspension system of any engine what we have in our suspension system we are having simple spring one damper and the base or the chassis or the mass of whole system okay so here if we can imagine mass okay so first of all mass will get the acceleration or will form the force in the form of acceleration because what is the basic equation of a force it it is mass into acceleration 
okay so here with respect to the mass and the displacement the inertia is generated inside the system hence there is the force generated with respect to the rigid mass okay second one next one is the velocity one because there is a damper and what is the damping effect it is originally the dissipation of energy now how this dissipation of energy may occur so dissipation of energy may occur only with respect to the velocity of a system now as we all know there is the displacement there are the jerk there is the total mass as well as with respect to the displacement it will be in some motion and if there is a motion it is having the velocity and if the displacement having some velocity or a displacement with respect to time it will give us the velocity and the dissipation of that energy will give us the damping effect okay so second one is the damping effect third we are having spring system okay now spring is that it means there is a displacement it may contract or expand now with respect to the contraction and expansion we are getting the third force known as spring force now we are having spring force we are having damping force we are having acceleration force or inertia force okay instead of all of this including this we are having frequency of the system because it is time with respect to the angular velocity we are having the velocity as well as the acceleration or retardation okay so basic elements are mass damper spring basic system is like mass damper and spring basic elements we need to calculate are mass displacement velocity acceleration or retardation frequency or the time period okay as we all know time period and frequency are nearly exactly reciprocal to each other so frequency or the time period we have to calculate this so this is our basic introduction of mechanical vibration okay now students what did we cover we cover free vibration forced vibration damped vibration okay as well as elements of vibration there are many more other like random vibration so how can we understand the random vibration it means the vibration which we cannot predict like the earthquake we cannot predict the earthquake vibration they are known as random vibration now what is the meaning of deterministic vibration there are another type of vibration like deterministic vibration then how can we understand what are the deterministic vibration deterministic which we can determine it means deterministic vibrations now there are many more if we have damped vibration it means over damped vibration critically damped vibration and under damped vibration you will study it later on suppose we are having according to the damping system so it is having undamped vibration and damped vibration if we are having the force vibration so force undamped vibration as well as force damped vibration it means there is permutation and combination of all the systems basically free force damped okay but linear as well as non linear but the uh, combinations like if we are having free vibration so free damped vibration free undamped vibration if we are having force vibration then there is the force damped vibration force undamped vibration if we are having damped vibration we are having damped over over damped critically damped and under damped system it means there are nearly different permutations and combination and we have to consider both of them okay so i hope this lecture is very 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 helpful to you basically the introduction part is covered in this chapter later on we will study in very much brief okay thank you so much